Why are you redecorating your place? Or should I say, why are we redecorating your place? Cleo thinks the place needs fixing up. Yeah, how come you never fixed the place up when we told you what a dump it was? Think about it, genius. Yeah, okay. Now be careful with that stuff. It's valuable merchandise. Hello there, gorgeous. Riff Raff, I have to talk to you right now. Sure thing, Cleo. Mungo, get the door. Mungo, get the door. Uh, okay. Now I'm lying in the dirt and think my body's hurt. Lose the pipe, Mungo. Okay, Riff Raff. Ah! Lots of things I do for fun, but getting squashed by pipes ain't fun. What's up, Cleo? I'm gonna be locked up. What? You weren't followed, were you? Followed by whom? The cops. I'm not being locked up by the cops. I'm being locked up by my owner. What are you talking about? My owner is going out of town for a couple of days and I'm being boarded at Kitty Cat Kennels. Not to worry, Cleo. I've got a plan. Right after your owner drops you off at the kennels, the boys and me will break you out. Are you sure? Trust me. <laughs> On the count of three, we break it down. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Way to go, guys. One more time ought to do it. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Quick, in the bushes. Got an idea? Hector, grab the door. Mm. 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 Yeah! Get me out of here! Pull him out! Okay, Riff Raff. Ah! Hey, somebody's coming. Now, when he comes out, Mungo, you grab the door. Now, Mungo, grab it. Good job, Mungo. You hold the door until we get back. I don't see her out here. She must be in her room. We are almost there. Now remember, be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah, like me. All right, we gotta find Cleo. Just act like you belong here. Ain't no way in this kind of place you'll find a cat with this kind of face. Cleo, Cleo, you in there? Not Cleo. I know he was here, but he disappeared. Duh. I'm so happy you finally came to get me. Why, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Turkeys. We gotta find Cleo and get her out of this place. Yeah, a cat's gotta be free on the street, not locked up like some kind of creep. Huh? Hmm. Hector, check in there. Whoa! Cleo! I thought you'd never get here. Come on, let's get going. Oh boy, here they come. Hurry up, you guys. Mongo, the dog! We're trapped! Well, congratulations. You're the first cats to leave themselves at a kennel. I think I'll go back to my room. We're all going back to your room. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. How are you going to do that? You are going to dig a tunnel. All you have to do is dig from 
here to here and we'll be out. Mungo, you start digging. Wordsworth, you haul the dirt. And Hector, you pile it in the corner. What are you going to be doing while we're digging? I'll be busy. To dig this hole. It looks like I'm gonna have to do this myself. Wordsworth, you hold the map. I should be home taking a nap, not standing in the dirt holding a map. <laughs> that should do it. Just break that dirt above your head, Mungo, and we're out. Oh boy, we're out. I told you I'd get us out. I have my doubts about being out. Cover us, Let's get out of here. Just my luck, I think I'm stuck. My head is so full of pain. I hope I didn't break my brain. I saw that. Your dogs are pitiful. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now go teach those cats a lesson. Now go get them. Yeah. We'll show them. Here they come. Let's get out of here. Now we're really trapped. Relax, I'll think of a way out. It's your thinking that got us into this mess. And I suppose you could have done better. Sure I could have. Well, here's your chance. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Uh, uh, first we should... Uh, uh, Mungo, you should throw something at those dogs to stop them. Yeah, like what, Hector? I don't care. Do anything. Anything, Hector? Just do it, Mungo. Okay, Hector. Me? Nice throw, Mungo. <laughs> Never fall unless we hit a great big All those dogs against Mongo. Shouldn't we help? No, there's nothing we can do about it. Poor doggies. I can. You guys make me sick. Now that that's over with, let's get out of here. I'll have this door open in just a minute. Fine. I'll wait for you on the other side. I told you I'd get you out of here. Yeah, my hero. Come on, you bananas, close ranks. We're bunched up behind you, Rip Rap. Be a good deal, like Wordsworth is here. 
I better hurry or oh, oh, our riffraff will kill on me. Come on, time to party hardy. Now uh, who's this hardy guy, Riff? <sighs> if those guys don't shape up, I'm gonna have to put my uh, uh, my foot down. Hey, no cats in the carnival. Now beat it. Hmm. <laughs> no cats. Can you believe that? Jo <laughs> oh. Anyone else want a free ride? I'd like a free ride on the merry-go-round. You like Geldof? <laughs> you okay? I'm breathing, ain't I? Help me out of this. I need a hand. <clears throat> I hope this wild urge to clap your hands stems from your newfound love of Spanish music and not a desire to humiliate your leader. Like okay, okay? That's better. We're going back as soon as it closes. And we're taking Cleo, too. She loves the carnival. Night, boys. Big day tomorrow. Sounds like it's Bruno time, huh, Geldorf? <laughs> Easy, boy. Papa's coming. <laughs> Release Bruno. Hmm, a bit to the left. Ah, there. Hit me with your best shot. It's hard to soar with eagles when you hang around with turkeys. Look out, son. Here I come. Leo, Mr. Good Time is here. You like what you see? You're the best looking thing on four legs, baby. Uh-oh, it's Bush. Things are gonna get hairy for Bush. Coolio, I thought I told you to keep Riff Raff out of the store. Now get out. Fetch. Come on, baby. We're going out. <sighs> Entree food. Oh, wait for me. I wonder what the future has in store for me. I am your future. Oh, Riffy. We'll make beautiful music together. Live in a big mansion. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Have a swimming pool, servants, and... What you doing here, fool? Nice doggy. Good doggy. We're leaving or we're grieving. Relax, sweetie. This will only take a sec. Hey, dummy, I'm in here. Just hit the bullseye and give the beefcake a bath. Throw a sinker at the stinker. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> this is ice water, fool! <laughs> <laughs> that ought to cool him off. It would be neat to have one of those dolls. Gah, I'll get you what, Cleo. You gotta win it, dingbat. Step this way, win a pal for your dad. A cupie for your cutie. So, I'll smack you just the same. Get me out! 
It's stuck. I better get the boss. Hurry! I'm f f f freezing. Now watch closely. It's all in the paw. And he wins a baby for his lady. Nice going, Slick. Ten out of ten. Riff Raff strikes again. Let's go on some rides. Can't. They're turned off. They're cooking now. I want to go on the merry-go-round. Let's take a twirl on the tilt -a world. How about... I'm thinking Tunnel of Love, but it's Lady's Choice. I like the killer corkscrew, but won't the noise wake up the carny? Nah, not a chance. I saw Lassie do this once. Lock these two up. Then get the girl and the stupid one. I'm going after the ringleader. You are gone, cats! Another fine mess Riff Raff's gotten us into. <laughs> I've got to go on a diet. Well, howdy, pilgrim. Uh-oh. in distress. My kind of action. What took you so long? You say the sweetest things. <coughs> Relax, baby. <coughs> Sorry, guys, but this tub is a two-seater. Ain't a night at the carnival romantical. Ain't it, though? some fun in the sun, now our day is done. Yeah, the best part for me was building sand castles. Thanks for my new bucket and spade, Hector. Ah, uh, uh, don't mention it, Mongo. Uh, no problem. 
it'll be good to get back to my old car seat. I'm washed. Hey, I, I'll race you guys to the car. Last one there? <laughs> Is it right there? No, 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 no. <laughs> like that car was our home. Now we're all alone. Somebody stole our house. <laughs> Where am I going to sleep? Where am I going to put my bucket and spade? <laughs> Say, what's going on down there anyway? <laughs> What's going on, guys? What happened to the car? Somebody came and took it away. <laughs> Don't worry, Mongo. We'll find you another place huh? to live. Hmm. Not bad on the spur of the moment, huh, Mongo? Mongo! No! There's no room, you big baboon! Ah! Sorry! I hope Mongo doesn't find us up here. There ain't enough room for three of us in this canoe. Yeah, that big guy is starting to get on my... Good night, fellas! Mongo! Huh? Uh, riff Raff, I can't sleep. Can I stay here with you just for tonight? Okay, just for tonight. <laughs> the things a guy will do for his pals. Gotta find something to take their minds off their missing car. Hey, here's something. The circus is in town. Hey guys, look, we're going to the circus. I don't want to go to the circus. I'm too sad to have fun. I said we're going to the circus and we're going to have fun whether you guys like it or not. Okay. We'll go, but we're not going to have, have fun. fun. I don't want to go to the circus. I want my home back. Shh. You gotta be quiet, Mungo. Someone might hear us trying to sneak in the circus. <laughs> if you want to see the show, buy a ticket. <laughs> okay, there's no sign of that dog anywhere. Let's go. <laughs> like I told you before, if you want to see the show, buy a ticket. Are we having fun yet? Okay, you guys know what to do. Don't sweat it, my man. We got the plan. Okay, so we're inside. Now what? Now we play it cool and we wait for that fool. Hey, let me out of here! Hey, help! Let me go! Looks like that dog's all washed up around here. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for your entertainment, the world famous Bellini Brothers Circus Clowns. Oh boy, the 
clowns. This is your favorite part of the circus. I guess you'll enjoy this, right, guys? No, we won't. Isn't this great? Our car! There, there it is. is! Oh, Joy, it's our home! Get it back for its riffraff, please! Please! Hmm, I got it! Okay, fellas. Now the plan is simply to go out there, and when no one is looking, we snatch the old bus and take her home with us. That's a neat plan, Rip Rap. Thanks a lot. like you guys finally got the old tub back to normal. Yes, Rip Rap, everything is back the way it was. Everything except for the squirting radio. <laughs> No trouble at all. It's good to get some fresh air. Look, there's the farm. Drop anchor. Aye, aye, Skipper. 
I mean, you should drop it in the water. Oh. I'm glad Cleo only packed for a two-day visit. The sailboat sunk. Why not the drunk? What is in this little box that weighs so much? Just my rock collection. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't do that if I were you. No? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But we're here to visit Lulu Bell. I'm her cousin, Cleo. Well, maybe he is, and maybe he ain't. You can't stop us. I got this here electric fence. Keeps the cows in and keeps the strangers out. But we're not strangers. Yeah, I know Riff Raff and him and him, uh, but I don't know her. I see you brought friends. Man friends. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hiya. Afternoon. Oh, no. Eye contact. Well, you all better come in and set a spell. Yeah. Well, where do you want the luggage? Why, you smooth talker. You trying to sweep me off my feet? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I do believe you got a crush on me. Little baby, I brought you over a present. Thanks, I'll open it later. This here's Oville from the farm next door. Hey, Addy. How are you? We are just friends. Well, uh, seeing as how you've got company, I uh, reckon I'd better be moseying. I got me some chores to do. Mongo is a hunky dream angel, but I don't think he likes me. Make him your prize-winning cake recipe. Once he tastes it, he'll be all yours. You really think so? Well, just take a look. The quickest way to a fellow's heart is through his stomach. For Mungo, it's certainly not through his brain. And then Mungo will be my bow. <laughs> if that cake gets made, it's goodbye, Orville. But she can't make that cake if she doesn't get the ingredients. I'll show her she can't treat me like trash. Yep. I got a plan all worked out. I'll take the flour, milk, eggs, and honey. Then Lulabelle can't make the cake for Mungo, and I'll be her bow again. We'll start the guided tour here. This is where we grind the wheat into flour, and I'll just get some flour now so I can make a cake for my Mungo. That's funny. The flower's all gone. This vacuum took out every bit. Clean as a whistle. 
certainly peculiar indeed. What do you think, Mungo darling? Uh... Well, I think somebody's stolen our flower. Stolen, huh? Don't anyone move. Freeze. Your turn, Miss Cleo. Lay a paw on me and your dog meat. I didn't steal any flour. I'll always take a lady's word. You ought to get out of uh, the window. Hey, what's this? Lucky we're here to help you, huh? Yep. Whoopee. Lucky me. Come on, move it out. Let's go. I think he's starting to like us. I gotta get those eggs. Hey, wait! Oh no! Here, you forgot one. Thanks. Piece of straw? No, try to quit. <laughs> ah, isn't this the life? <gasps> Enjoy yourself while you can, Mr. Riff Raff. Soon as I devise a plan, even you will be working for me. Claude the Disguiser! Oh, what's the use? We're almost out of mood juice. <laughs> hey! I got some milk, Riff Raff. Your plan worked real good. Like, uh, like, uh, Grease Thunder. Natch. 
As a reward for a job well done, you can have all the empties for your collection. Gee, thanks, Rip. You're a real pal. I found this bottle in the yard. A gift with my regards. I'm going to put it with the others right now. Yeah, who, who are you? <laughs> Just call me Harry with the light brown jeans. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Simply by rubbing that bottle, you've summoned me and will be granted three wishes. No fooling. Just by saying the words I wish and then telling me what it is you want. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Uh, well... Ah, uh, I wish my head didn't hurt. Hmm, that's one. <laughs> wow. Okay, so now I wish my feet... <laughs> Whoa, -ho -ho there, fella. I don't think you're getting the big picture here. You don't want to waste your wishes, do you? Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Then don't be so wishy-washy. Think big. <laughs> You can have anything in the whole world. Just use your imagination. <laughs> what a waste. Yeah, I wish I could think of something. I thought of something. That's too. Look, my head's starting to hurt. Yeah, it must be going around. Why don't I get back to you? After you've thought about it for a while. There's no hurry. Like maybe a thousand years. Talk it over with your friends. But don't tell them about me. When you want me, just rub three times. <laughs> but don't rub me the wrong way. Okay, okay. It is now clear to me that the junkyard is small potatoes. When I get my paws in that bottle, the world will be my oyster. Hi, fellas. I was just thinking. Thinking? I've been working you too hard. Take the rest of the day off. Jay, thanks. What I was thinking was, if you could have anything in the whole world, what would you wish for? Since you're asking, for starters, a ton of fresh fish, and then... Oh, no! Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Now, where did I put it? Oh, yeah! Here it is! Yoo-hoo! Harry! Anybody home? What's the matter? You stuck? <laughs> Yeah, hi, Harry. Turn it over, please. Does your head still hurt? It was starting to go away. So, is there anything on or in your mind? Wish away. Yeah, I wish I had a ton of fresh fish. And so, your last wish is a ton of fresh fish. Oh, hi, guys. This is Harry. He'll grant me one wish for anything I want. Mm, I told you not to tell them. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, since we're all friends now, how about granting me a wish or 12? Mm -mm, that's against the rules. He's my only master for one more wish. This time, no one can stop me. Yeah, I'm really confused. <laughs> I'll bet it's the very first time. I wish I knew what to do. Mustn't waste my only wish. I uh, who said it was yours? 
Well, in two's company and five's a bore. Let me know what you decide. Where'd the bottle go? Hey, look. The garbage is taking Harry out. I don't think it's trash that's making the dash. That's Claude the Disguiser. Quick, follow that cat! <laughs> I wish to rule the world! Hey, what gives? I said I wish! I can only have one master at a time. And right now, Mungo is him. I don't feel so good. Put a cork in it, Harry! Come on, you can do it! I can just get out of here with this genie. My dreams will come true. <laughs> Harry, you in there, Harry? Hey, check it out! Where is he? Where's Harry? You gotta tell me! Yeah, I sure wish I knew! That's three wishes, and you're out. Now it's my turn. Mm, guess again, sardine breath. After 2,000 years and 6,000 wishes, without a weekend off, I'm taking a vacation. I'm tired of being bottled up. And what about my wishes? Hardy har har. Why don't you disguise yourself as a rock? Go jump in the lake. What if I rubbed your bottle? Then you would be my master. But first you gotta find me. <laughs> Aloha. Yeah, I'm sorry I blew the last wish, fellas. Well, as long as we're here, we may as well have some milk. So long, Hondo. Yeah, have a nice vacation, Harry. May all your wishes come true. <laughs> you, Harry! Come out, come out, wherever you are. I know you're in here somewhere. was on my back at 30,000 feet over the Amazon jungle when this could be big trouble oh well I've been in worse scrapes before better bail out uh oh they don't make these things like they used to then what happened Rip Rap? What always happens, you dingbat? He always falls into a huge palm tree that breaks his fall. Luckily for him. Uh, I've heard that story a hundred times, Big Shot. You need a new one. Yeah, well, it really happened. And who else has a story as exciting, huh? He's who, Riff Raff. Admiral Katsk, that's who. Huh? 
he's cute. What did he do? This guy's not that hot. All he did was become the first cat to make it to the North Pole. Yeah, but he's famous. And he's gonna be more famous after he climbs Mount Fuji. It's in that faraway land of Bigatoa. Boy, would I like to be there when he gets to the top. Yeah? Well, I will be. And I'll be waiting for him at the peak. I'll show him and you guys who's the number one cat. Now you're talking, hot shot. We'll be famous together when we reach the top. Ah, new fur coat for me. And all that caviar and milk. That mountain's no place for a woman. This is a man's job, Cleo. Oof. Oof. Ah. Oof. A man's job, huh? No place for a woman, huh? Oh, I'll show that conceited blockhead. Mount Fuji, here we come. You can bring on my meal now, Hector. Sure, boss. Coming up. Ah, oh, my favorite. Tuna surprise. A meal fit for a king. Or at least a mountain climber. I say, old boy, I didn't invite you to have lunch with me. Do you know who I am? Mm-hmm. Your Admiral, uh, what's his name? Katsk. The name is Katsk. And do you mind getting rid of that dreadful stuff you're eating in front of me? Ah, thanks much, Admiral. That will give me the strength to beat you to the top of Mount Hoochie. Later. No one has ever challenged me before. That little squirt will never make it to the top of Mount Hoochie. And neither will any of his team. Just a few more inches, Mongo. Yeah, what, boss? Yeah. Uh, never mind, Mongo. Just finish with the tent. These pesky cats must be stopped. Guys, which one of you networks pulled the stunt? This bear costume should be enough to scare that silly junkyard cat and his unruly pals back down the hill where they belong. I thought so. Well, this old bear is in for a surprise of his own. <laughs> These are good boys I've got here. They know I need to conserve my strength for the final climb with the Admiral. Will you clowns watch where you throw that stuff? Sure, boss. Sorry. That's it. I've had it. Stop everything. Now look, you. You. Yeah, boss. What? Gotta remind myself to decorate those two for their loyalty and bravery. Hey, you guys, wait for me. That takes care of those scaredy cats. Oh, hello, old bear. Bear? Yeah! Whoa! Jay, I wonder why 
everybody's in such a hurry to go back down. We ain't even got to the top yet. Oh no! Riff Raff is right in his path! Riff Raff! Look out! Huh? Oh, Admiral Katsk. I knew it all along. But that other voice... I wonder... Come on, you two slowpokes. We've got to make up for lost time. Uh, hey, Wordsworth, the boss wants us to hurry. No sweat, Chet. Just try to tune in some traveling sounds. I'm getting some kind of strange noise. Ha-ha! <laughs> Who said anything about playing fair? Huh? Hey, have you gone nuts? Put me down! Oh. Oh. Whoa, boss! A way to catch up! <laughs> Perfect timing! Grab one and let's go! Here, Goldie, Goldie! Want my coat, Goat? I knew those goats would help! It was worth the effort to round them up! Whoa! Slow down, you mutt! Want a short ride, Lamb Chops? Whoa, Nanny! Yeah, I got one! Ride em, go there! Oh, no! Riff Rock, look! It's the top of the mountain! We're almost there! All right! You didn't think I'd let you get up there without a scrap, did you, old boy? No, I didn't, old boy. But no more tricks. It's just me and you to the top, right? Right you are. Let's go to it. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Ooh! Ah! Almost there! Lot of make it, old boy! I told you I'd be the winner against an amateur such as yourself. What do you mean, Chowderhead? I was the first one over the top and the first one on his feet. Ah, uh, just a second, you two. Didn't it ever occur to you to share the honors? Ta-da! Cleo! You mean that was you all along? That's right, Hotshot. It was me. I knew you'd need my help in spite of yourself. And I needed to show both of you that instead of trying to beat each other to the top, you could have been helping each other. You know, old chap, she's right. She usually is. It's settled then. Let's toast to it with some milk. Cheerio. Cheers. Here's snow in your eye. Hey, how about some snow in our eyes? <laughs> if there's one thing a cool cat like me knows, it's how to treat a lady. Hmm, they just don't make flowers like they used to. Could you get that bush? It just better not be one of those mangy cats. Cats? Perish the thought. I'm here from the Disco Academy to give you a free demonstration. Sign me up! And for you, my sweet, a beautiful bouquet. I think that Bush's gift was a better deal. But if you really felt like giving me something, something to brighten my day, 
Anything, Cleo. You name it. A little something like this would probably do the trick. An elegant boudoir for the lady. No problem, sugar. By tonight, you'll feel like you're sleeping on a cloud. Oh, Riffy. You're the most wonderful cat I know. Yeah, and I'd feel a lot more wonderful if I knew where I could find one of those overstuffed cots. Hey, Hector, what's happening here? Our car radio's a pain in the ear. You're telling me. Don't worry, guys. I got us a new car radio from Leroy's side of the dump. What do you think? All right, you creepy cats. I want my radio back, and I want it now. I hope that was fast enough for you. Just wait till my cousin Mervyn McMutt gets here. Let's change the channel. I'd like to see you try anything on him. <laughs> oh, we can hardly wait. <laughs> Mervyn, am I glad to see you. Oh, boy. We're going to get to meet the little McMutt himself. Cousin Leroy. Well, Cousin Mervyn, it has to do with some cats. Cats? I hate cats. I think that was our cue. Let's get out of here. I know you guys are glad to see me, but this is ridiculous. We, we was, we was cousins here. And he's as big as a bear. Sounds interesting. Let's take a look. There you go, Mervyn. You can't say I don't treat my guests with style. Not bad, Leroy. Not bad. What luck. That bed's exactly what Cleo had in mind. Now listen, guys. I've got a plan. Uh, are you sure this plan's gonna work? Don't worry, Mongo. Riff Raff said it's foolproof. Oh, yeah. Right. Look. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Leroy. Let's cause a catastrophe. Hi, it's working just like Rip Rap said. <laughs> but, uh, uh, what do we do next? I don't know. Rip Rap didn't say. I got an idea. Let's get out of here. Oh, doggies. Thanks for the bed. I thought this plant was supposed to be foolproof. What went wrong? Nothing. While you guys were distracting the dogs, I got the bed. We'll get you yet. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. They're gaining on us. Come on, Mervyn. We're gaining on them. <laughs> Way to go, Rip Raff! Hey, yippee! Whoa, yeah! We did it! Woo! Yippee! Yeah! And Cleo's music store is dead ahead! Ta-da! Well, Cleo, what do you think? Oh, Rippy! It's beautiful! Now, all it needs is a fancy quilt comforter, and it'll be perfect. 
A what? A comforter. Like this. Don't worry, Cleo. We'll take care of it. Oh, Riffy. Sorry about the bed, Mervyn, but I do have this. This must be my lucky day. There's the comforter. Charge! Stop it! Yeah! Oh. 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 Not so fast, Kitty Whiskers! Way to go, Mungo! Oh. 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 Hey, we're gaining ground on the house! But not for long! Oh. Oh. Hold on, Mervyn! Sure thing, Hector. Will this do? No cat could get the best of mean Mervyn McMutt. Well, I guess there's the first time for everything. Hang on, Leroy. We're going for a ride. Oh, so they want to play rough, do they? <laughs> I guess we showed those cats, eh, Leroy? an inch and they'll take a mile. Sorry my interior decorating turned out to be interior destruction instead. Aw, oh, that's okay, Griffy. It's the thought that counts. Guess I'm just a dreamer. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one. <laughs> You're the only one for me. Mm. Likewise, Snookums. <laughs> Riff Raff is getting all spiffed up. I wonder where he's going. We could find out. We could ask him. Well, let's go ask him. Hey, Riff Raff, you're looking pretty dapper, man. What's the plan? If you have to know, Cleo and I are going down to the fun park to have a few laughs. Oh, boy! The fun park! I love going there. That's too bad, Mungo, because you aren't going to the fun park. Like I said, it's just me and Cleo, and you guys aren't invited. Gee, that's too bad. The fun park is one of my favorite places. Don't worry, pal. We're going to the park, too. Cleo, your lucky cat. Here comes the one and only Riff Raff. So, you thought you were gonna sneak by me, did you? Hey, hiya, bushy old boy. No, I wasn't trying to sneak by you. I was just testing you, that's all. And you passed the first part. Passed, did I? Yeah, you did fine on the first part. Now here's the second part. Yo! What took you so long, Riff Raff? You know you shouldn't keep a girl waiting. Sorry, Cleo, sweetheart. I was detained by that big ball of hair over there. 
What say we get going? Shall we, my dear? Certainly. Our chariot approaches, my dear. Gee, they left without us. No problem, Mongo. We can catch the next bus. Gee, guys, how are we going to get inside the park? Weren't you paying attention, Furface? We just do like Riff Raff and Cleo. to sneak into the fun park, eh? Great plan, Hector, my man. <laughs> Gee, Rippy, ain't the fun park great? Yeah, Cleo, this was a swell idea. I wonder which way Riff Raff and Cleo went. Yeah, this would be even more fun with my pal Riff Raff here. Wow, Riffy, what's that? Oh, that's the house of the future display. Haven't you ever been inside? Uh-uh. Well, follow me. I know a way inside. Wow. Presenting the future. I think they went this way. This way to the house of the future. The most fantastic view of the future you will ever see. Step this way, please. Over here, the kitchen of the future. Everything is completely automated. All you have to do is press a button in order to enjoy a delicious meal. Now, if you will follow me. Boy, you can really feed your face in this place. Let's eat. In here is the entertainment room. Movies, music, and games, all at the touch of a button. This is going to be better than I thought. We got the whole place to ourselves. How's about a nice candlelight dinner, courtesy of yours truly? Whatever you say, high roller. Raps. Not bad at all. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the House of the Future. Before leaving, we have one last thing to show you. The House of the Future Special Security System. This system completely watches over the house while the occupants are away. And that ends our tour. Thank you. Try one of these. Look out below.
gonna take that. Yeah. Come on, we're going back in there. Now let's relax and enjoy the show. Where's the popcorn? I don't know. Press a few buttons. Gee, all that exercise made me hungry. Well, all we gotta do is push some of these buttons and we'll get something to eat. Wowie zowie! the boom on that big vacuum. Hey, Cleo, look at this neat room. It's full of all kinds of electronic toys and games. Come on, Riff Raff, let's party. Look at that weird-looking computer game. Let's go check it out. <laughs> All clear. This time we're getting in and staying in. Come on, Cleo. I'll have you a game. Come on, Riff Raff. Let's get to it. We're in trouble. This game is dull. Let's go in the living room and relax. Yeah, I'm with you, Riffy. How about some milk? Coming up. To a pleasant afternoon with you, my dear. Not bad, Riffy. Not bad. It's a good thing those three bozo friends of yours weren't around to spoil it. Even in a house of the future. I can't escape my past. Oh. Do 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 Once upon a time, that was mine. Now, boys, what exactly do you think I can't do? Well, not even you can get into the bird sanctuary. No one's that tough. Let me put it this way. I'll get into that bird place and you three will help me. Get it? Oh. Oops. Ref, I feel really silly dressed like this. It's not how you feel, it's how you look that's important. Yeah, well, how do I look? Really silly. <laughs> Here's the bird sanctuary, Riff Raff. Good. Wheel me in. No one would ever guess what these two are up to. That was the ugliest grandma I've ever seen. And that baby. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh-oh. I think he spotted us. Get a move on. 
Come back here! Turn left! Turn left! Yeah, this dress is slowing me down. Yeah, which way is left? Hey, what happened? Where is everybody? That crummy bird. Why, I oughta... Yikes! That way, Mongo. That way. Yeah, which way is that way? <laughs> you look pitiful. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Cats aren't allowed in here. Don't come back. <laughs> uh, who turned out the lights? Did somebody get the license number? Uh, he has to ask. <laughs> Hold still. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Oh, oh, oh. You look like something the cat brought home. Hey! What the? I need one of you guys for a special mission. Sure. No problem. Wise word! Get started. <laughs> Dig. <laughs> ah. Oh, I've got just the thing for these undercover kitties. Well, I'm certainly going to see a light at the end of this tunnel. I may be a mess, but do you hear a hiss? It's nothing. Quit goofing off, you rhyming reject. We're probably under the wall now. Oh, no, no. It's, it's a... a... <laughs> It'll be a cold day in July before any cats will... Me? No birds about, so let's clear out. Get out of my way. Meow. Ooh. Now to check this place. Ooh. Well, what have we here? Huh? Now, it looks like a couple of minor birds to me. Uh. <coughs> hey, get off of me. <coughs> <coughs> Now, this should be fun. And I've got a ringside seat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, what's what? <laughs> Time for plan C. This used to be a quiet neighborhood. All we gotta do is yank this rope, and we breeze through the open window. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! I'm such a naughty boy. Too bad. Just a little to the left. I've seen a catfish before, but never a cat bird. All right, it's working. Do, 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 do. So long, Featherhead. <laughs> ah, I made it. I'm safe. Mind running that by me again, Bob. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. Oh, no. Oh, ouch! Oh, ouch! Oh! 
Oh, oh. Huh? Who? What? Where? Hey, dinner. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Go. Yeah! Uh, generally, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, but in uh, your case, I'd say you got off lucky. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, that bird's getting on my knives. Aha! Oh, ooh, hey, me! You know, two can do it better than one. <laughs> two can, I'll get you! This cat has a stilted sense of humor. Ah, ah, ah. Now that's a boy. Wow. Wanna go for a ride, huh? Okay. Oof. Off. Ouch. Mm. Enough. Stop. Let me off. Oof. You want off? Okay. So long, Buster. Not again. Now you really like to get into your work, don't you? Oh, it's a dirty business. Come back here, you big mouth feather duster. Oh, everything hurts. Now, what took you so long, you old stick in the mud? Now you've had it. <laughs> now you're all mine. Really? I didn't know you cared. Boy, I'll bet your riffraff really clobbered that bird. What? <laughs> After all this time, we finally have something in common. We both like fish. <laughs> Hey, look at this. My favorite picture is playing down at the Bijou. Cat on a hot tin roof. Look at that. The Tigers won another game. Oh, no. This is terrible. What's the big deal, Riff Raff? The newspapers are always full of bad news. Yeah, but this is bad news for cats. Cats? Oh no, that's terrible. How awful. Bad news for cats. What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna hide? Look, here's the dope, you dope. It seems that there is a cat disease around here. But don't worry about it, it strikes only one cat in a million. Pretty good odds, if you ask me. Oh yeah? Well, I'm scared. What happens to a cat with this disease, anyway? Well, it says here that a cat with catatosis will have a twitch in his right arm, his lip quivers. What's this? Whiskers spin wildly. A cat with this disease also will flip and flop in his sleep. Yeah, hey guys, look at Wordsworth. He's doing all the things Riff Raff said the cat with that disease does. Will bark like a dog. Will flap his arms like a bird. Will cry like a baby. <laughs> oh no! Wordsworth had catatosis. What are we gonna do? Well, let's see what else this says. The cat will sleepwalk. Yes, sir, this sounds pretty bad, right, fellas?
Now that's the craziest thing I ever heard. Yeah, big night. I feel perfectly fine. We gotta take him to see Doc. What kind of doctor did you say this guy was, Riff Raff? Don't worry about it, wise guy. Yeah, it looks like old Doc is doing all right for himself. Yes! What is it? What do you want? A potion of some sort? Come on, get on with it. Doc, it's me, Riff Raff, your old pal. Riff Raff! Well, at least that growing potion must have worked. Doc, he's not me. I'm me, Riff Raff, the one and only. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you want? You see, my pal here, Wordsworth, has catatosis, and he doesn't even know it. Ah, uh, yes. That's one of the symptoms, I think. Well, can you fix him up? Why, of course I can fix catatosis. Let me just look it up. I'll be right back. Don't worry, the doc will have you fixed up in a few minutes. Hey, man, what's the plan? I'm not sick. What's the trick? Ta -da! Ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see here now. Cat atosis. He's the sick cat. I don't think you should. I feel real good. I can't seem to find catatosis anywhere. That's okay. Stick your tongue out. Yes, okay. Lift your right leg. Very good. Now lift your left arm. That's fine. Now hop up and down like this. Hey, this kid slipped his lid. Okay, you can stop now. This guy is 100% fine. A little stupid, maybe, but nevertheless, he's okay. But he did all of the stuff. Listen, do I look like I'm crazy? That one's up for the bait. If you want to be certain, I will give you a cure. Get your friend a hair from an alligator. That will do the trick. Now you're talking, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> Let's find one of these gators so I can catch you guys later. Yeah, what is an alligator anyway? I've never seen one, but don't worry, we'll find one. Shh, let's not wake up those big lizards. Lunch time. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Roar, you guys, if you think you're wise. Was a close one. Let's see. Alligators. Alligators. Oh, look. Here's a picture. Yikes! Alligators? You mean to tell me that those guys were alligators? Well, they're not so tough. All they are is a couple of overstuffed lizards. Look, guys, I feel okay. Let's split. What do you say? We're not going anywhere until we got what we came here for. The hair off one of those guys' heads. <laughs> now, don't worry, guys. Just leave it up to old Riffy. I got their number. <laughs>
say what you may, this is the end of my day. Now hold your horses, boys. We've come all this way to get the cure for our pal Wordsworth here. Now let's get it. Wordsworth says he's okay. That's one of the problems with catatosis. It makes cats lie. Now come on. What are you guys, chickens? Who turned out the lights? I think we lost them. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Riff Raff, please. <gasps> yeah, let's say later to the gator. Huh, I'm getting worn out by all this running around. Okay, have it your way. I was just trying to help out a pal. If you guys feel that way about it, then let's get out of here. Let's see here. Where did that boat go? Rubbo. Whoa! What? No hair! Oh, no! What is it? What, what is, is it? it? Doc, you told us to get a hair off an alligator, remember? Yes, I remember. Well, I would like to bring to your attention that, number one, alligators ain't the friendliest of animals. Yeah, and they don't have any hair either. Don't have any hair, do they? Well, thanks for telling me. I must write that down. Well, your friend looks to me just fine now anyway. This here's the sick one, Doc. Well, he looks just fine, too. Must have been the exercise. Exercise? exercise. 